Hey, what's cracking, everybody? It's F Major, and I just want to give you another quick tip about using Machine inside of Logic Pro. One of the things that you'll notice when using Machine inside of a host is that you lose the direct connection between Machine and your audio interface. But you can still get audio from the outside world and even VSTs and audio unit synths directly into Machine by just setting up your Logic session to, uh, to allow it to happen. Basically, what you need to do is send audio from your DAW directly into Machine. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the EVP88, but this will apply to pretty much any external source or internal source in the host. So you can do the same technique if you have like hardware synthesizers and keyboards or guitars or even records. You can get audio directly into machine by doing a few things here. So the first thing we're going to do actually is set up the EVP88 channel strip. So you'll notice I already have my machine um, instantiated and I also have EVP88 instantiated. So on the EVP88 I'm going to change from stereo output here to bus 1. So let's go ahead and select bus 1. So now the audio from the EVP88 is going to be sent directly to bus 1. Okay, it's going to bus 1. So that's already set up now. We don't have to touch that anymore. The next thing I want to do is go to the machine interface because I need to set up a few things. So on the record tab here, I'm going to make sure that the record tab is set to external so that the machine is still looking for audio from outside of machine. Okay, We're not going to get it directly from the interface. We're going to use logic, but it's still looking at that as an external source. And I'm going to select in left and right. Um, basically, that's the only choices you'll have here is either um, left, right, or the stereo pair. So I'm going to just choose the stereo pair here. I'm going to make sure that my um, my record monitoring is on. So I'm just going to just click this icon here so I can monitor. And the most important step here is that I'm going to set up my side chain because the side chain is where machine gets the, the actual audio from. So we're going to set this to bus one because bus one represents where the audio from my EVP 88 is going to. So now what happens is if I start playing some, you know, keys on EVP 88, you'll see that it shows up in that meter there on machine. So now if I want to just sample some stuff, I can do so directly from the EVP 88. So let's hit the start button on the sampler and just record a couple chords here. Okay, and I'll just stop that now. And now you see that the um, EVP 88 is, the sample is actually inside a machine now. So hopefully that's a tip that might help you out and figure out some more creative ways to use machine. Because now what that opens up is the ability to sample things that you may have created yourself like some guitar licks or you know a bass line or something or some keyboards or even if you want to go to the records you can do that from logic just by setting up the side chain because the side chain allows the audio signal to pass through logic's bus directly into machine all right so if y'all got any questions about that feel free to hit me up but i think this one should be pretty straightforward easy to set up um, yeah, just holler back at me. All right. Peace.